With your Polar 2 connected and ready to go, let's look at operating the unit. Polar has two physical input channels. Each input channel has its own gain control, line instrument switch, and enhanced switch. If you've inserted a quarter inch instrument cable from your guitar or any other instrument with a high impedance output, select instrument on the line instrument switch. If you've inserted a quarter inch cable from a device with line level output, such as a keyboard or studio hardware, select line. If you've inserted an XLR cable, Polar 2 will bypass the line instrument switch. With your input connected, you can turn up the gain control to increase the input gain of the preamp. The input's LED meters on the front panel indicate the input level for each channel. The enhanced switch operates in one of two ways, depending on whether you've connected an instrument or microphone to the input channel. With an instrument connected, such as a guitar, turning on enhance enables a unique analog circuit that mimics the input stage of classic valve guitar amplifiers. With a microphone connected, turning on enhance enables a carefully designed, gentle high shelf EQ that brings out the natural clarity and air from vocals, acoustic guitar, and more. Please note, whenever line is selected, the enhance switch will be completely bypassed. Now that you know how to operate the Polar 2, let's look at how to record. With your Polar 2 connected to your computer, open your door and make sure to select the Polar 2 as your interface in the door's audio settings. Create an audio track and select input 1 as your input source. This will record the signal from channel 1 on your Polar 2 interface. Select input 2 to record channel 2. Make sure you have input monitoring enabled and your track armed to record. You can use the monitor level control or headphone level control to independently adjust the volume for each output. Now you're ready to record and play back using the Polar 2 interface. Mm -hmm.